Hello guys, uh, welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, whenever APC supporters and Bolatinibu supporters see that all the policies and all the nonsense policies that the APC led by Bolatinibu's government have made is not working, they will not turn to put B. They will not start uh, find one allegation of find a way to distract Nigerians from actually accusing a president, Bolatinibu, who left and abandoned the country on a private visit to, 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 to France when the country is in chaos, when the country is in economic and security crisis. Now, in order for them to exempt and exonerate the so-called president who imposed themselves on, on Nigerians, they've started mentioning P2B's name. They've accused P2B that P2B is even responsible for the increase in the dollar rate in Nigeria, that P2B is even responsible for the insecurity. You know, anytime they want to deceive themselves and deceive Nigerians and the gullible Nigerians, they will first of all bring P2B's name and accuse him of all the things that is actually happening. Remember, P2B is not even the president of this country. He's just an ordinary citizen like any other person. But in any, any conversation, the APC by gods are trying to have the most bring P2B's name. Now today, they are accusing P2B that P2B is responsible for what is actually happening. That P2B is responsible for the increase in the dollar rate to Naira rate in the country. It is very funny and pathetic. Meanwhile, they have allowed Tenibu, who was a person that floated Naira against a foreign currency, knowing full well that we import 99.9% .9 of everything we use in this, in this country and we import all those things in, in, in dollar. And they've left all those uh, flotation of the uh, and wrong uh, monetary policy that Polami Etinibu did. And now they are blaming P2B. I'm going to show you how they started saying that P2B, as a matter of fact, stored one trillion US dollar to tell you how 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 unreasonable that these people could be. Even the richest man on earth does not even have up to that such amount. But they are saying that P2B, as a matter of fact, stored about one trillion US dollars in his account and in his bank. If this is not meant, I can boldly tell you for free that I don't know what is wrong with APC supporters it's because they've seen that all the policies that Balame Tinibu, this is one year that this man was elected as, a, as, as a, not elected, he was in, he, in, this is just one year that he imposed himself as the president of this particular country and nothing is actually working. Businesses are dying, foreign investors are leaving the country. And instead of them to hold this man responsible, because a man who never promised you anything during his campaign, he was basically saying, a milocon is my turn, that he's just going to dance. A man who was invited for a lot of interviews for him to tell Nigerians what he's going to offer to them. He did not attend and he did not, you know, honor any of the invitations. Rather, he sent representatives and people were clapping for him, Jagaban, and now he couldn't do anything. Well, let's uh, look at what uh, these APC rooks are actually saying and, uh, you know, how they are accusing P2B, that P2B is responsible for the... Uh, Increase in dollar late rate in this country. You know, it is quite pathetic. Like I've told you guys, whenever they see that the, the, the nonsense policies that they are so called uh, uh, president is doing is no longer working, they will find an alternative to, you know, actually accuse uh, Mr. Pito. Now, look at what they said. This statement was made by uh, the, the brother to the former governor of Ekiti State, being uh, Fayose, Isaac Fayose. You know, remember, uh, 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 Fayose is even under EFCC investigation because of how he looted money in the Ekiti State. Now, look at what he said. P2B stored over 1 trillion in his domiciliary account in Fidelity Bank. He is one of the main reasons Nigerian economy is failing. President Tinibu should seize and auction all the dollars inside everybody's domiciliary account. You know, when you see APC rules and, you know, uh, 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 and uh, supporters, the way they reason and the way they talk, talk, instead of him to tell the president as a matter of fact to make monetary policies that is, that is as a matter of fact, are going to increase the economy and, you know, uh, 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 stabilize Naira. He's actually attacking a man who is just an ordinary citizen. P2B, yeah, the P2B see one trillion US dollar. Elon Musk, the richest man on earth, does not even have such amount of money. So where did P2B see one trillion to put inside a domestic account in Fidelity Bank? In every case, you know, because of how innocent this man is being P2B, they are trying to bring him down. That is why they are putting his name. They are trying to bring one corruption against him. The man have said it here categorically that if APC or any person on earth or in Nigeria brings one corruption case against him, that he did this and he did that, that he, he, as a matter of fact, is going to you know stop his presidential ambition and stop his political career and end every any political uh, movement or activity or ambition that he has. To date, APC and no other Nigerian have actually brought any uh, corruption case against him. So in anything, they've been trying to fight. Now they are saying that he stored one trillion years old to show you how unreasonable and how daft some people could be. I can boldly tell you this for free. So APC have been fighting to Tanya to see if P2B uh, will have a, a, a corrupt case against him so that they can dent his image and you know, say that he's a corrupt politician. But ever since, how many years till now, they've not even found one allegation or charge that he even embezzled one Naira or one Kobo while he was the governor of Anambra State or when, when he held any political position within the country.
I can boldly tell you this for free. Now look at what some of the obedience and some of the some Nigerians who actually understand that this man is on the high is highly drunk or probably is on high something. I can boldly tell you for free, saying that P2B has one is storing one trillion US dollars in his account. It's quite funny and quite pathetic. This person said, Oh, the big or the or the Nigerian International Limited. Do you know what is one trillion dollars or the big or the worldwide or the minister of or the this other person said, Do you know what is one trillion dollars? Even Elon Musk will not get one trillion dollars. If I was P2B, I would sue this man because he has to show proof where the one trillion dollars is stored and where it came from. I can remember just very recently, this he good sued a woman who was accusing his brother, the past governor, talking about hypocrisy at his highest. Now him be this man. You know, remember this particular man's brother is uh uh Fayose, Ayo Fayose, who is one of the most corrupt uh, 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 governors who have in, 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 uh, across the country. This other person said, uh, this man shaved his head, shaved his sense joint. <laughs> it's a good day to buy boot. How much your own brother store for him, private account, to get people? Now this person said, ignorance at its peak. Do you know what one trillion US dollars is? You know, you see that people were attacking him because he is actually a gullible person. And this is one problem with APC supporters. They are using propaganda as a matter of fact to govern the country. Instead of them to address issues, instead of them to tell the president that, that people be stated this, that unless you change the country from our consumption to production, that is the only way we can save our economy and save and save our currency. That in the situation whereby we eat, we import 99.9% of everything we consume and we import these things in, 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 in foreign currency and we don't earn or we don't gain uh, uh, foreign currency through the, uh, production or exportation, that means our currency will be devalued. Our currency will still remain the way it is. And Tinibu wasn't the case by floating the Naira, allowing the Naira to be determined by the market value when we have no single strong economic factor to help us or protect the Naira. And now... APC supporters because they seen that Nigerians have turned against them because they seen that some of the people that supported APC are complaining they are crying what they want to do is to gaslight them to turn against uh, uh, P2B as if P2B is responsible for instead of them to blame Balame Tinibu and APC who is in power they want to secretly shift the blame to to uh, P2B who is just an average citizen to tell you how how how, how the kind of mental problem that these people being APC supporters are having and how they want to destroy this nation with propaganda and bitter politics of Cam uh, of Cal 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 it is quite shameful and it's quite pathetic that this is coming from AP supporters. Instead of them to address issues the way they are, they are looking for blames. And especially they are always looking for blames to fill a way to put everything. Even the, the, the subsidy remover, they are blaming P2B for the subsidy remover. They are blaming P2B for every virtual thing that happens as if P2B is the president of this country. Well, like I said, I would like you guys to drop your comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this recent happenings and this statement that was made by Isaac Fayose of AKT State.